Hi, my name is Jason with Legacy Arms International, and today we're going to talk about a new gun that hit the market uh, that's been eagerly anticipated for a long time, and I'm super excited to enjoy a little bit of. This is the Brueger & Thome Station 6. So the Station 6 uh, has a very long lineage. It goes back to the well rod pistol made during World War II for the OSS and SOE. Uh, the original well rod pistol was essentially one long integral suppressor, single shot pistol. It could be easily concealed and um, it was used for some of the more unique special missions that went on uh, in both the OSS and SOE. Bruger and Thome came up with the VP9, the veterinarian pistol, and it was sold as a pistol throughout Europe that was used for euthanizing animals. The reality is that when people looked at the the way it looked and its lineage, they realized it harkened more to the well rod than anything that a veterinarian would ever need. It eventually got discontinued and then it was uh, kind of rebuilt, re-engineered, and released uh, about a year and a half ago as the Station 6. So uh, the way this is set up, it's a single shot bolt action or, or basically manual pistol. The benefit to that is that there's no moving parts. So all of the gas is pushed through the suppressor it reduces the noise signature, but also there's nothing that needs to move or function. Um, you can see there's a little uh, cut line right here. In the VP9, uh, the magazine was actually part of the hand grip. And so when you took the magazine out, the hand grip came out as well. It made it hard to find replacements and things like that. This cut line is here so that if you want to do something like that, where you cut it and you epoxy, the hand grip to the magazine you can do it so it's set up more like the vp9 but one of the innovations that they made in this pistol is it now takes 1911 magazines makes life a heck of a lot easier this one is in nine millimeter they also make it in 45. one of the unique things about this gun it comes with the standard can is a is basically a can with wipes so this is incredibly quiet but it obviously has a lifespan. So after about 50 rounds, the wipes go bad. They need to be replaced. You can send it back to B&T. They'll replace the wipes for you. Um, someone like myself that's an 0702 FFL can keep white material on hand and, and do the replacements for you as well. Uh, you, by ATF standards, they, they list the uh, wipes as a suppressor part, so you can't keep excess on hand, but you can do a one-for-one -one swap in order to replace the wipes in your can. They also sell what they call a training can. All this is is a standard suppressor. It has metal baffles in here. It's going to suppress the, the handgun the way that a normal suppressor would, and you can use this pretty much indefinitely. The gun is threaded in half by 28, so any 9mm suppressor is going to thread on there just fine. But I like having both the, the white can for uber quiet and the training can for standard suppression. Um, what I'm going to do is basically start out by shooting with the training can, just a regular baffled suppressor. I'm going to shoot 115 grain 9mm, there's nothing special about it, and we're going to see how it sounds with the can, and then I'll swap out to the wipe can and we'll do that and see how much quieter it is. One thing to keep in mind, um, this really is made to be a single shot pistol, so the ejector does not fully eject. You kind of have to pull the bolt back and dump it out. It's not really made to, to fling the casing like it would in a normal semi-auto pistol. There is a grip safety here, um, but that's kind of the only actual safety on the firearm. It does have a thread cap protector, which is kind of nice. Um, I have seen people shoot it without any suppressor on it. I don't know why you would actually do that. I'm going to go ahead and start out by putting the training suppressor on. Like I said, just standard baffles. Nothing super special about it. What I'm going to do is fire the first couple rounds at a steel target 15 yards downrange, and then I'm going to shift my point of aim so that I purposefully miss the target so that you can just hear the level of noise suppression. You're not hearing the report on the steel. Um, again, ejection, uh, it's really made to be a single shot pistol. So each time I, I cycle the bolt, I have to kind of dump the round out or the, the spent casing out in order to cycle the next round.
All right, so for the second one, I'm going to put on the, the wipe can. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shoot uh, offset. I'm not going to shoot at the steel. That way you can hear the difference in noise abatement, noise reduction. Again, standard 115 grain. So I'm not doing anything special, but there should be a noticeable difference um, between the wipe can and the regular baffled can. This is a new gun, so I should point out that the... Um, the baffles, or I'm sorry, the wipes, I didn't add any ablative material or anything like that. Down the road as I swap out wipes, I may put in petroleum jelly or um, uh, ultrasound uh, gel works really well. Um, but right now it's essentially dry with just the wipes doing the work. So we'll see how it works. What's interesting, you probably can't hear it where you are, but when I actually open up the breech and pull the bolt back, you hear an escaping of gas, almost a vacuum, because it's that tight in terms of how it's sealed. So all of the gases are going out the front of the, of the suppressor. But you hear this hiss as I unlock the, the bolt, which is kind of cool. That's pretty quiet. 